What's going on guys? Burger back with more dredge. And we are going to rest. Oh, whoops. I stopped it early. Alright, we gotta take this girl to. Oh wait, we already took her. Duh. Alright, I gotta go catch some fish so we can upgrade our engines. We need fifty dollars worth. So it's gonna take us a minute. Because we sold one of our engines, so we're slow right now. And I don't think I can fish here. Oh, I can. Great. Alright. We got us a squid. No more fish available. Uh, let me try this fishing hole right here. Is this a shallow one? No. Alright, hopefully we can make enough right now. All right, that spot was depleted. Many-eyed mackerel. Ooh. Hopefully that's going to be worth some extra money because he likes those weird fish. Oh, we're about to perfectly fill our thing. Oh, have a perfect packing. Have a full cargo. We got an achievement. All right, let's go ahead and head back. Let's use some haste on here. All right, so fishmonger. We do not, not right now. Hold on to the fish for now. And sell all fish. Perfect. Uh, I don't know how you do it every day. These old bones wouldn't cut it on the high seas. All right. Now, shipwright. Engines. And let's... Um, uninstall this. Put it in storage because we can't sell it. And then we're going to buy this guy install four hours all right now uh, I guess we need to go ahead and rest heck yeah all right let's unlock where are we headed uh, let's go to this X here little Mario so we're gonna have to go out here oh yeah that's much faster. I can dig it. Ooh, let's see if we can get this. Ooh, we got a black tip reef shark. Nice. Put it right there. Do we think we can fit another one? I wonder how much these bad boys sell for. Um, uh, I don't think I can fit this one. We're going to have to discard it, unfortunately. I cannot wait until we can increase our hole because this thing is like killing me. Size wise. Alright, so where are we at? away from it. So we need to go turn around. Alright, so I think it's behind this island is where we need to go. I was confused. Uh, there's a, 
a message in a bottle right there for us. We're gonna go ahead and grab that. Add it to cabin. So cabin uh, messages. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Mario. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck, struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate the hole, but it jostled us around and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is some of some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes from the boat renaming ceremony. He is paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I've never known him to be so superstitious. Alright, sounds like uh, some weird stuff going on there. Um, what is this? Okay, here's the shipwreck. Dredge. Alright, let's go. Ooh, this seems fast. What do we get? A bronze belt buckle. Okay, we found that belt buckle. Now let's try to back it up here. Dredge here. old iron chain and there's a little thing right here if I can get to it oh no our hydraulic rod's been disabled I'm going to have to repair that alright we got a research part I'll take that scraps. I will also take that. And more metal scraps. Um, we're not going to have room for these metal scraps, I don't think. Put it there for a second. Uh, what can I move? I don't really think there's a way to fit this. Uh, Alright. Uh, we need to head back. Turn our light on here. Starting to get the hang of the fog. Um, all right, so hopefully we have enough money to repair everything. Fishmonger, all fish is seventy. Uh, Shipwrights, repair all. Oh, thank goodness it's only thirty dollars. All right, so we have the belt buckle. Which I think was that we need to go to the other side. We do. Uh, let's do the research. Um, what are we going to research here next? We did this engine. Um, I think the next thing is going to be... What should the next thing be? Because... I don't think we've reached the mangrove or volcanic. Volcanic. Um, so I'm assuming, and this engine here, a reliable engine trusted by seafarers. I guess we could start, uh, this adds nine, that's 36, that's 26. I guess we could start working on this. <clears throat> All right. Uh, what now, what now, what now? I guess now we just need to sleep till tomorrow. All right, and now let's undock and head across the way so we can return that guy's belt buckle to that boy's father. His father? Um, oh, I'm silly. I forgot to put those scrap metals away. That sucks. 
That's okay. We're just gonna make some less money today. Head back. Let's head over here. Breathing father. Hello, is everything okay? About that belt buckle. Give the belt buckle to the man. Yes. You give the belt buckle to the man. This is this is his. Oh thank you. Bless you. You've returned him to me. Please take this. I've not any money to pay you, but this might hold some value to you. All right, he gave us another research part. Anything else I can help you with? Um, do you, what do you know about any strange occurrences? I don't get out a lot anymore, so I don't see much of what goes on. But I do remember the old mayor in his final days. What an awful sight it was. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. Throw it back, he would cry over and over. Begging anyone who would listen, howling to the wind. These days, I almost feel like I understand. Anything else I can help you with? Nope. Let's talk to the trader, though. Um, what did I have? I'll sell that. And that's it, I think. Oh. Uh, let's get this goblet out. And see if we can sell that to him, too. Is there anything else we can sell? Old iron chain. Alright. Let's sell that to him. And research. Um, did we want to do... Let's just go ahead and do... Oh, wait. I think I want to do this. Yeah. Oh, we can't. We gotta do this first. Alright, let's just go ahead and unlock this. Research parts. Why won't it let me spend it? Oh, because I gotta do this one. Oh, this one does coastal and shallow. Oh, yeah. We want that. Alright. Um, let's undock and head back across the way. Do we have room to catch anything else? Not really. All right, let's go. All right, fishmonger. Um, yes. Just leave whatever you have. I don't have any fish for that order. Oh, it's because I have the squid. Alright, sell all fish. And I've got two scraps, so let's put that in the dry dock. Um, Alright, that one's full. That's full. Oh, snap. Alright, what is this? Modifies two cargo spaces to also hold engines. Please upgrade. <clears throat> Alright, so we got that upgraded. Ooh, this new hole is what we're, what we're going to want. We got to finish this stuff first. Uh, metal scraps and wood. Okay, so now, store it, uh, shipwright, I can install this little engine. right here. It took up some of our space, but it did give us a, it did give us a new engine slot, so that's cool. And what is this? Okay. Yeah, I need to get that other fishing pole, so um, where can we head off to? I guess now we need to make it over there. It's kind of far. Um, it's 
early in the day, but do we think we can make it there? I don't know. Should we try? Should we try or nah? Let's just rest, because I don't want to push my buttons. Push my buttons. Push my luck. So let's sleep. Alright, we'll wake up now. Undock. And then we'll start heading that way. So if I look at the map here, I need to go southeast. So we need to make it around this little bend here. Um, ooh, don't crash into any rocks. Alright, and then we need to go this way, I think. Nope, we're headed the wrong way. Southeast. Yep, so we need to make it around this guy. Now we're kind of headed towards the right direction. There we go. Now we're headed right at it. So we'll keep going. Hopefully they have a place we can spend the night. I would think so. But we're definitely not making it back in one day. This is a far travel. Alright, this is a little island here. But it looks like uh, there's some stuff there we can probably grab. Let's try to get in there. Is that a shipwreck? It is. You pull up to a wreck with a familiar looking hole. It's almost identical to the ship given to you by the mayor, except this one has a huge breach in one side. You tie it up alongside the old wreck. Check out the cargo. You poke through the cargo hold. A few items remain, not yet lost to the sea. A basic fishing pole, which I can't get. The metal scraps I'm certainly grabbing. A weak valve engine. Um, which I can put in the storage. Oh, I can put all this stuff in the storage. Look in the cabin. You're in the cabin. Look in the cupboards and drawers. I've been completely and methodically emptied. All the drawers are missing. Um, try to find a loose floorboard. There aren't even any floorboards left. You're in the cabin. Check the overhead electrical equipment. The equipment is all there. They're surely exposed to the elements that spry the internals. You angle the overhead radio down to get a closer look. A note slips off the top and put it in your pocket to read later. You're in the cabin. Alright, let's leave. Alright. It seems as if this mayor is a little bit shady, if I had to say so. Like, I believe the mayor's shady AF and probably sending people out like myself. And I don't know what his angle is, but... I don't like him, and I think he's shady. Those are my thoughts. All right, let's see what this is all about. Uh, oceanic perch. perch. Alright, that's depleted. Alright. Oh, it looks like we got several places to visit here. So that's cool. Alright, we got an Ingfell resident. What is it? Do you need help with anything? I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here, we consider aged conquer eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Normally, we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dog keeps digging them up and eating them. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an aged conger eel? Yes. Thank you. You'll be decently compensated. Anything else? Where can I catch a conger eel? Ah, yes. They can be tricky to find. I'm told they inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. I imagine they've been fished out around the edges, so you may have to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find them. Oh, and did I mention that they only come out at night? Yes, I believe they hide during the day. Good luck. Anything else? Uh, where can I sell my fish here? We catch our fish ourselves here, so we don't have much need for buying any. 
but there's a merchant that travels around. She's usually anchored across the bay. She buys and sells almost anything, and she does repairs too. Okay, that's it. A retired whaler. What is it? Um, are there any shipwrecks? The real wreck around here is the settlement at Gale Cliffs. My brother ditched us and moved on over to those cliffs years ago. I suspect he's regretting his decision now. The devil. Anything else? Uh, what can you tell me about Ingfell? Ingfell used to be a whaling town. Emphasis on the used to be. We would go out, bring in a carcass, and then the rest of the town would get to work. But the whales got scarce some 20 years ago, and now look at us, barely scraping by for a new candle. Anything else? Nothing. Alright, let's take a peek. We don't have any research points. Uh, we still got a little bit of day left, so let's undock and head to this dock over here. What's that? Uh, I don't think that's meant for me. Alright, let's go over here. Disturbed water. We don't have the shallow thing, so we can't fish here. An old man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards you. Oh, ah, greetings. Don't get many visitors around here. What is it that you need? This place doesn't seem safe. Why do you live here? I, I've been stubbornly holding out here for quite some time. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. I've been happy here for so long. My wife and I had such a beautiful life until the collapse. Now I'm alone and cut off by land and sea, left only with these trembling rocks on all sides. I could help you move to Ingfell. It's not that simple. My brother would never. You see, I used to live in Ingfell with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. Things were bad. We fought a lot, mostly about how our parents' inheritance should be divided. We were in the prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now, after all this time, I can't return without it. Where is it? That's where the problem lies. After the collapse, that creature, it dragged debris from the houses down into its wretched burrows. The crest went down with it. It's a lost cause, I know, but if you were to find it, it's a large whalebone crest. It would mean the world to me. I'll look for it. Thank you, but please, be careful. Okay, so we have met the hermit. It is almost dark, and we're at our time limit, so I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, guys. But thank you for hanging out, and we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye!